Today I'm going to start working on the finishing the transom. So obviously this transom has a relief cut into it. That's 25 inches at its lowest height. And that was my original plan, but actually that plan changed quite a long time ago. Um, because I realized I didn't want the engine stand uh, as high. Initially I think this was about 6 inches higher. So I, But I wanted the engine down a bit lower. And the compromise is cutting the transom lower as well. This is of course a balance. You want the engine and to be as low as possible for balance or um, uh, weight, I guess, center of weight. But at the same time, you want the transom to be relatively high so that water doesn't come in through the back if, like, with a uh, deceleration. So anyway, I think right now it's at 25. I'm gonna cut it down to 18 inches, what'll be around there. And uh, put the radius back in it. And then I'm gonna weld the lip on the top. And uh, so it'll be lower but it'll have a lip that should help with water. After I do that, then I can finally finish my uh, uh, exhaust. This uh, four inch aluminum is what I'm gonna use for the lip. Obviously the lip is gonna be on the other side. I just have it mocked up there uh, because that's what I'm gonna use to guide the plasma cutter. You know, the easier way would have been to mock it up on the outside and run the plasma cutter this way, but obviously I don't want sparks and flames uh, going anywhere near the fuel tank or that expensive prop. So anyway, I'm going to run it this way. That should work fine. I'll cover up the prop so I don't get any sparks on it. So this is the piece that will curve up. I'll weld this on. I'll just take it kind of incrementally. Uh, I made this piece basically just to hold it. That'll be for strength when it's up there permanent, but also just because it was hard to clamp without it. So this is riveted to the transom. And uh, you see the rivets on the back side there. Now I'm gonna run bead of, uh, well I'm gonna weld it all the way along here coming up and then I'll probably build a couple more of these as well just for extra support.
So the transom lip is finished. So this was a nice, quick, easy step of the project. It's really very sturdy. I did have to move this bracket. I initially put it over here, had to put it there because the exhaust is gonna come through here. So that'll be the next step is, this is stainless steel bringing this through here. Then I'm gonna have it turned down on this side. But the transom looks good, the lip is done. It is solid, super solid. Um, you know, just with the shape of it and the weld, it's very strong, the brackets help. But I can easily walk over it. It doesn't really flex at all. So that'll be good, that's it. Thanks for watching.